Welcome to Mishnah study. Over here in this Mishnah, we're going to discuss slaughtering the Pesach for an individual. Right? So, interesting mahlokit over here in our Mishnah. And Shohadin of the Pesach ala Yahid, Divre Rabbi Yudah. Rabbi Yudah says, one person alone, he wants to say, I want to have my Kurban Pesach myself. I don't want to do it with the whole group. Could he make, could he, could he, could he slaughter for himself? No. And Shohadin, you cannot slaughter for an individual. Rabbi Yosem, I'm a tear. Rabbi Yosem says, no, you're allowed to. Go ahead. One person wants to do it. Go ahead and do it. Halakha is going to be like Rabbi Yosem. Afidu Habura Shil Me'ah. Let's say, though, you even had a hundred people part of the group. If you have a whole group of 100 people, but they cannot eat a kazait, then you can't slaughter for them. right? But if you have one person who's going to eat, the, who's going to, go to finish it, who's going to eat, to eat, then you can go ahead and do so. You're not allowed to make a group consisting of women, slaves, and children. Right? And Hanabam over here. Um, says meaning kavanato that you can have nashim and avadim, right? Or you can have you know you can have you know uh, women and slaves together. Or you can have a group of minors and slaves. All these mishum pritzuta, right? But each mean you know bifnat small harizimutar, right? You can have a group of all women, a group of all slaves, a group of all children. Um, that would be allowed except for sorry nashim laatsman you could have and avadim laatsman you could have but children you can't have right because they're not pardat right they're not uh, obligated yet and the uh, halacha is like the as we mentioned that you're allowed to go ahead and slaughter the pesach even for an individual.